A couple months ago, after visiting my 50th country, I took a look at the map and realized how much of my own country I hadn't seen yet. So there in that moment, I set a goal for myself, visit all 50 states that I haven't visited before, before my next birthday. At the time, it was about 28 states, and there was quite a few that I had no idea how I was going to get to. Then I had a crazy idea. What if I planned a road trip where I could knock off almost half of those remaining states that I had left to visit? Those Midwestern flyover states, America's heartland. The plan was just crazy enough that it might work. So I got some help, booked a flight, and headed to Minneapolis. Welcome to Minnesota. It is beautiful here. It's about 85 degrees. It's kind of humid, but not nearly as humid as Florida. Uh, we are at, what is it, Minnehaha Falls Park, or Minnehaha Creek Park, and we are looking for a waterfall. Found the waterfall. Really beautiful, got some good shots of it, and uh, now we're gonna go check into the hotel. I'm really excited to have partnered with the Kington Grand here in Minneapolis. I really love the Kington Hotels just because they're kind of like upscale but laid back at the same time. So let's go check that out. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. So we got a long day of driving ahead of us tomorrow, so I'm gonna call it a night and check back in with you tomorrow morning, bright and early. Good morning, guys. It's just after five o'clock. Um, today we have a lot of driving ahead of us. The plan is to drive from here in Minneapolis to Fargo, to just go to Fargo, and then down to Rapid City, kind of near where Mount Rushmore is. So we have about eight and a half-ish nine hours of driving ahead of us so we're gonna get on the road and uh, just take you along with us so here we go our first stop was the little town of Fargo North Dakota Central before continuing this drive luckily we found a nice like little craft coffee area so atomic coffee and a ginger snap cookie and I'm good to go Hey guys, quick update, We're still driving. We're about 450 miles into our trip. We're about halfway through our drive for the day. Um, about to pull into Sioux Falls, South Dakota, grab some lunch, fill up the gas tank again, and uh, just hit the road towards Rapid City. So our stomachs are full, the gas tank is full, and now we're gonna get back on the road headed towards Rapid City. Here we go. What's up guys, we're about 750 miles into our trip. Um, we only have about 50 miles to go till our destination for tonight. But we've seen about 3,000 million signs for wall drug and we're finally here. So we're gonna give it a try, check it out, uh, see what it's all about here. incredibly long day um, for ourselves into our Airbnb for the night, but we're gonna get up really early to get back to the Badlands for sunrise tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some shut eye and catch back up with you guys first thing. Good night. Morning guys, it's 3.45. Um, we're about to head back to the Badlands to catch sunrise. Not super stoked about it. 
he's super happy that he's up so early. <laughs> um, but we're gonna get on the road so we can make it there on time. We just came upon a couple bison here. Actually, by a couple I mean like hundreds. What's up guys? The sun is really trying to give us a show this morning. It's doing its best. I don't know if you can see it behind me. The sun is bright pink. Um, there's a little bit of color in the atmosphere, but not tons. So we're gonna keep driving around. So this is the spot that we were trying to get to for uh, sunrise this morning. We finally managed to find it. Um, it's in this like little washout area uh, on the side of the road. But up here there's a balanced rock, which is pretty neat. And I think it would have been a really epic place to shoot sun sunrise, but sunrise missions rarely go exactly the way they were planned. Let's so go check it out. What's up guys, we have had breakfast. We are now killing some time before we're able to check into our next stop. Um, we're in the little town of Keystone, South Dakota. It's where Mount Rushmore is located. But we found a place where we can go gold panning. So we're gonna try to get some gold. a little bit of gold but I think Maddie was more successful than I was. We're gonna go grab lunch right now so and then I think by then we'll be able to check into our new place to stay this evening. So here we go. As you can see this place is pretty sweet. We got a king size bed, we got another couch over here that's also a pull out, um, some lounge area, and we got our own bathroom and shower right here in our tent. So we're here for the next couple nights and I'm really excited to do a little bit more exploring of this area even though we spent a lot of time exploring the last two days. you and catch up with you tomorrow and uh, see you tomorrow. What's up guys, got done with Crazy Horse and now we are hiking the Horse Thief Lake Trail. Um, just a little bit away from Mount Rushmore. And we're gonna do this, maybe find a place to hop in for a quick swim, and then go grab some lunch. So, I mean, it's a beautiful day out. I couldn't ask for better hiking weather. So we are going to definitely take advantage of it. So we made it to the top of the cl Overlook Cliff got some great pictures and now we are going to head back down and find some lunch because I'm starving after this hike. This is the end of 
day three of the road trip. I am beat from the hike today and just kind of our overall exciting day. Um, I'm thinking that this vlog is getting very long because it's been three days worth. So I think we're gonna call this the end of part one of the America's Heartland road trip vlog and we'll pick up with part two tomorrow.